Why does space have three dimensions? Did God only have three fingers to count on? No one knows. This is why physicists have, for more than a century, considered the possibility that space has more than three dimensions. This idea has had its ups and downs, but today's news is definitely an up. A group of physicists say that extra dimensions might explain how our universe grew to this enormous size, what dark matter is made of, and also make some new predictions that could be testable soon. This is because, they say, the additional dimensions can lead to a cosmological stasis, a temporary phase in which the universe expands, but nothing in it changes. Let's have a look. If our universe has additional dimensions of space, they need to be small so that we haven't yet noticed them. They need to be rolled up to a small radius or, if you want to hear the technical term, and I just know you want to, they need to be compactified. Yes, that's also what you do with the extra dimensions in string theory, but this new theory comes without strings attached. The thing with these additional rolled up dimensions of space is that they can make one particle appear like an infinite number of particles. This is because quantum physics has taught us that particles are also waves. And if you have a particle that can extend into these extra dimensions, then its wave must go around the dimension and then fit together with itself. This means that its wavelength must fit to the size of the extra dimension like a standing wave on a jumping rope. And there are infinitely many ways to do this depending on how many periods of the oscillation you can fit in. So each time you have a particle that can go into the extra dimensions, it'll behave like an infinite number of particles. This is also called a tower of particles, and it's the main ingredient to the new theory. The authors now conjecture that one such particle exists that can go into the extra dimensions and create this tower. The details of the particle don't matter much, but it's not a particle that we have already discovered. They say that if you have any particle that creates some such a tower of modes, and you start the tower out in the early universe by giving it some energy, then this energy will gradually decay down the tower. And while this happens, the gradual decay creates pressure that expands the universe very rapidly and very steadily. This is the cosmological stasis. The universe expands, but in it nothing changes. Matter doesn't clump, radiation doesn't dilute, everything remains the same until this tower of particles runs out of its initial energy. Then the rapid expansion ends and the matter in the universe begins to clump and form stars and galaxies. It's an interesting idea because, you see, physicists have long suspected that after the Big Bang, our universe must have undergone such a phase of exponential expansion. Concretely, they think it must have increased its size by more than 26 orders of magnitude within a billionth of a billionth of an attosecond and you thought pregnancy was bad. The exponential expansion is called inflation and physicists say it's necessary to explain why the cosmic microwave background looks the way it does. I'm forever on the fence about it. On the one hand, I agree it's a useful theory to calculate some features of the cosmic microwave background. On the other hand, I'm pretty sure that it isn't the only theory that'll do that for you. The biggest problem with inflation is that we don't know what caused it and we don't know how it stopped. And this is where the extra-dimensional particle tower comes in. It gives rise to this cosmological stasis, which is a temporary phase of exponential expansion, and that naturally stops when all the initial energy has cascaded down. Better still, once cosmological stasis stops, the particles from the tower don't disappear. They linger around and form dark matter. It's a particular type of dark matter called warm dark 
dark matter that physicists have considered before. They just didn't know what it might be made of. If dark matter is warm, then loosely speaking, it doesn't clump as well as the more common type of cold dark matter. The difference between cold and warm dark matter is difficult to infer from observations. However, the authors say that their theory could be testable in other ways. The exit from the cosmological stasis would leave behind a characteristic gravitational wave signal and also telltale signs of weird correlations on the cosmic microwave background, both of which might be measurable with upcoming experiments. So what are we to make of this? To be shockingly honest, I think this is nonsense. It's mathematical fiction, a combination of speculative ideas that make for an even more speculative idea. The most interesting thing here is that people get paid for working on this. But what do I know? As I said, the idea of extra dimensions had its ups and downs. So maybe the real problem is that the more dimensions you have, the more difficult it becomes to tell what's up and what's down. Did you know there's a free and easy way to learn more about the science behind all the videos that you've been watching? Yes, there is. Have a look at Brilliant. Brilliant offers courses on a large variety of topics in science, computer science and mathematics. All their courses have interactive visualizations and come with follow-up questions. Whether you want to know more about large language models or algebra, want to learn coding in Python or know how computer memory works, Brilliant has you covered. It's a fast and easy way to learn and you can do it whenever and wherever you have the time. And they're adding new courses each month. I even have my own course on Brilliant. That's an introduction to quantum mechanics. It'll help you understand what a wave function is and what the difference is between superpositions and entanglement. It also covers interference, the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And after that, you can continue maybe with a course on quantum computing or differential equations. And of course, I have a special offer for viewers of this channel. If you use my link brilliant.org slash Sabine or scan the QR code, you'll get to try out everything Brilliant has to offer for a full 30 days. And you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.